In this video, I'm talking about the king of the options Greeks, Delta. Delta can help you answer important questions when you trade options, such as what's the probability of an option expiring in the money? Why am I making money on this position? Why am I losing money? Or even exactly how risky is my portfolio anyway? In the world of options, sooner or later, you'll encounter the Greeks. The Greeks have mysterious names like Delta, Theta, Gamma, and Vega. But they simply measure how the price of an option will change given different factors. Factors such as the underlying price, time to expiration, implied volatility, and even interest rates. Now some of the Greeks I could take or leave personally, but if you want to succeed as an options trader, it's important to understand Delta at the very least. Luckily, it's the easiest option Greek to understand, and in this video, we will explore what Delta is, how it works, and how to use it when trading, especially when trading the options wheel strategy or covered calls. So what is Delta? Delta is a Greek letter used to represent the rate of change of an options price in relation to changes in the underlying assets price. Essentially, Delta measures the sensitivity of an options price to changes in the price of the underlying asset. Now, delta values can range from negative one to positive one. A delta of negative one means that the options price will move in the opposite direction of the underlying assets price. A delta of positive one means that the options price will move in the same direction as the underlying assets price. If you buy calls, they have a positive delta, and if you buy puts, they have a negative delta. Makes sense, right? If you buy a call, you want the underlying to go up in value, and if you buy a put, you want the underlying to go down in value. And if you're selling options, it's just the opposite. If you sell calls, they have a negative delta, and if you sell puts, they have a positive delta. But how much will the options value change when the underlying price changes? Well, that's precisely what delta can tell us. For example, if you own a call option with a delta of 0.5 and the underlying asset increases in price by $1, the options price should increase by 50 cents. And if you're selling options, which is the option strategy I prefer, and you're short a call option with a delta of negative 0.5 and the underlying increases in price by a dollar, then in that case, the option price should decrease by how much? 50 cents. The delta value of an option can also tell you its position in relation to the underlying asset's price. In other words, it tells you how in the money or how out of the money an option is. At the money options typically have a delta value of around 0.5, while in the money options have a delta value closer to one, and then out of the money options, on the other hand, they typically have a delta value closer to zero. It's important to note that delta is not a constant value. It can change based on a number of factors, including time and volatility. As an option approaches its expiration date, its delta value will change more rapidly. And high volatility can also impact delta as it increases the likelihood of larger price movements in the underlying. How can we use delta? Well, for options trading, Delta can help us estimate the probability of an option expiring in the money. For example, an option with a Delta of 0.8 has a roughly 80% chance of expiring in the money. Delta can also be used to determine the risk of an entire portfolio by balancing the Delta values of different options, or even balancing the Delta values of options against the Delta values of stocks. Stock Delta is easy because stock always has a Delta of one for each share. For example, if you own one share of SPY, that share has a delta of one. If you own 100 shares of SPY, those shares have a delta value of 100. But what if you have a covered call position? Well, in that situation, you might have 100 shares of SPY with 100 delta, and then you might also have a short call with a specific delta of its own. And because a short call is a short position, meaning it benefits from the stock going down, it's going to have a negative delta. So that negative delta from the covered call will offset the positive delta of the stock and you'll have some net delta value. So if you have multiple positions inside a trading account, you can know not only the delta of each position, but also the delta of your entire portfolio. Now let's look at a real example from a real trading account. My account, in fact. 
Now this is a look at my account on May 1st of this year. And you can see that the price of SPY at that time was uh, just shy of $417. And if we look at my positions, I had 383 shares of SPY and I was selling three calls. I was short three calls against those uh, 300 of those shares. If we start with the shares, the 383 shares, you can see that I had a delta of 383 for those shares. Again, I was short three uh, 410 SPY calls. The delta for that position was negative 182.69. So if we look at both deltas together, I had a positive 383 on the shares and a negative 182.69 on the calls. And all in all, that was a delta, a, a portfolio delta in that case of 200, positive 200. So what does that mean? How does that help me? Well, then I know that if the price of SPY goes up by $1, let's say, then I should expect my portfolio, this portfolio, to raise in value by $200. It's positive 200 delta, SPY goes up a dollar, I should expect to make 200. And as I mentioned before, the delta of the shares is static. It doesn't change no matter what the price of SPY does. However, the delta of the calls, those short calls, would change depending on what happens with the underlying and in fact we can see how it can change over time and uh, with the price of SPY moving around because if we jump over to May 4th and look at the same portfolio well now we can see that the price of SPY has jumped down to 404 from 416 where it was before and what happened in that situation well I still have same position basically I added one share but that doesn't really matter for our purposes here. I still have 384 shares of SPY with a 384 positive delta on those. And then I have the same short call position, three short 410 calls. And now those that call position has a delta of negative 127. And if we look at the delta of these positions combined, again, we have 384 positive delta on the shares and negative 127 delta on the calls, the short calls, and that's a net delta of 256. So now I could expect that if the price of SPY goes up by $1, that I would make $256 instead of $200, as we saw uh, from the May 1st example. So what happened here? Well, the price of SPY went down, and essentially my portfolio got me to be more long SPY, which is perfect. That's what you want, right? As the price of SPY goes up, when the price of SPY is higher, or the price of your underlying is higher, your, your deltas get lower, which is, is perfect because you wanna be less long in that situation. And as the price of the underlying goes down, you wanna get more long. And so your delta, you want your delta to get higher, which it did, and it did automatically because of that uh, short call position, uh, the shares stay the same delta, but the delta of the calls is dynamic and it changes with the price of SPY and makes me more or less long in my net position. Remember, delta is just one of the Greeks used in options trading, but it's an important one to understand. It's the king of the Greeks. Understand it, observe it, and use it to your advantage. All right, that's what I have for you in this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more videos on saving, investing, and early retirement. Thanks for watching.